Hey guys, it's Josh. I'm just currently working from the truck camper. And this past weekend, my friend Noah and I went up to his family's off-grid camp, which is kind of near Lake Champlain, but I'm not gonna say the exact pond that it's on. And we really didn't do much that weekend. We went on a fun ATV ride, but we kind of just hung out and enjoyed the cabin and enjoyed the slower weekend. I wasn't really planning on making a video for it, but I actually did take like a little walk around video up and down of the cabin itself. And I did film the ATV ride that we went on. It was like a two hour ride and it started raining. It was a fun weekend. It was nice hanging out with Noah. We also brought Coco with us and we stayed there for two nights, Friday and Saturday night. It seems like we used to be able to go up to the camp more, but now we're both busy. So we at least try to still go once a summer. We also hiked up this little mountain that has a great little overlook spot of the high peaks looking towards the west. And it was a great weekend and I'll show it to you now. Coco, did you sleep as well as I did last night? I felt like I slept pretty good. I think we're going to take the ATVs out for a ride once Coco and I get back from uh, checking out the pond. Last night when we came up here, I had to put on four-wheel drive in order to make it up this hill right here. It's a little bit steeper than it looks. There's a better view. Now you can kind of see how steep it is. This is a great pond. And because of all the rain we've got recently, the water level is a lot higher than it usually is. Coco's pretty familiar with this dock. She loves hanging out down here and chewing her little bone as we uh, swim. Coco, do you always have a good time up here? So we're looking at this tree down there. We're going up to this hole right at the top. It's right there. That thing. See you, Coco. We'll be back later. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Thank you. Trying to beat the rain. Yeah. I think this is a 2011 Honda Rancher 420 with independent rear suspension and Noah's on a Polaris Sportsman 450. And it's going to start raining within like 20 minutes, but I still think we're going to get rained on pretty good. had to unlock and go through a gate and I decided to put my raincoat on because it's, uh, it's gonna rain pretty good soon. We made it. We did. I'm glad I decided to put on my bathing suit before we started the ride because I think we're gonna get really soaked on the way back. But this is Lincoln Pond right here and Lincoln Pond State Campground is right over that way. There's the other side of the pond. It's divided by this road. You can kind of see some of the campsites and the campers over there. Wow, we're going to get really soaked soon. We might even have some thunderstorms on us too. This is pretty neat. It's definitely going to thunderstorm on us. And we're going to head out to somewhere else that's uh, a little bit more covered by the trees. got to be pretty soaked at this point. Pretty good. It's still warm air? Yeah, you can feel the warm air. 
here coming off of the pond. It wasn't too bad at the beginning of the ride, but now it's getting kind of cold. Coco, how was it here all by yourself? Our ATV ride was two hours and we're about to have a little snack and Noah's having a Mike's. It's convenient having a smaller fridge and portable Jackery that you can move around because we brought those inside yesterday just to make it easier and we even brought in the water container and filled it up at that spring on our way in. Unfortunately, I didn't take much video on Friday night, but we did stop at that spring on our way in. On Friday, we kind of just hung out once we got there and made dinner and hung out on the porch. And now I'm going to show you around the cabin. And the reason why the video is up and down and not landscape is because I thought I was just going to be using it to send to Kate so she could see what the cabin looks like because she has never been there. Hopefully we'll be able to find a weekend this fall where we can all go up there and Kate can finally see the cabin. Here's the back door and the generator is out there. And this is like the little shop area where some, there are some tools. And then we have the composting toilet. And this is a shower and it's just from a gravity fed big jug, like 20 gallon tank that's upstairs. You're walking in, you get to the kitchen. There's a cupboard and stuff right here. The sink, no dishwasher, but we have an old propane stove and oven. And we also have a propane fridge. This is the grill that we roll onto the porch when you wanna make stuff. This is the one bedroom. Then if we go out here, we have a room where the ceiling opens up. There's nice wood paneling. Here's Coco. There's a lot of chairs in here right now, but usually they're outside or on the porch. The wood stove is right there. It's a dartboard and a map, and there's a lot of cork boards to put up photos. Then out here is the porch. It's pretty big and I slept there on the cot and Noah had a cot out here last night. You can see that's the pond and dock right there. You can also park there and over here. And now I'll show you the upstairs area. It's kind of hard to get to. Not, oops, sorry, Coco. There's a small spiral staircase right here. You can get up to the loft area because there is like a, I don't want to call it a bedroom, but there is another bed up here. So there's the door and there's no railing here, but you can see down there, there's also a front window. And I can't really stand up all the way, but there is a bed up here and I've only slept in it once. And then over here is the water tank for the shower. There's also propane lanterns around the camp and it is basic and it is rustic and there is an outhouse outside as well. And the reason why it's not really updated, I think, because it's on leased land and it has been in Noah's family since like 1995, I think. But the contract goes up every year and just recently the land was sold to another like paper company. So at any point, at any year, it could be taken away and they'll have to like move their stuff and that's basically it. And that's kind of why I think it hasn't really been updated because you don't want to really put money into something that could just be taken away. But it does work and it is great. And also in that big room with all that wooden paneling, if you look around, you see all the antlers. And that's basically from deer in the area. They use this as a hunting camp in the fall and winter. Also, if you notice, the really big antlers are from elk. I think every other year, Noah's family does like a big hunting trip out in Wyoming. It's a good thing we're not camping because we would just be standing under the awning right now. We just turned on the little string lights that are all up on the ceiling of the porch. It's right about eight o'clock and Noah recently headed out to go kayaking and Coco and I are just now gonna walk down to the dock and see if we can see where he's at. Come on, Coco.
everything's really wet because it just rained for like the last six hours but now the sun's coming out a little bit i wouldn't say it's windy out but there's definitely a slight breeze and the water definitely feels warmer than the air so it does kind of feel cold out here and it is kind of nice but really not that warm out for being july still coco what are you doing There he is, coming back. I think he was out there for like an hour. This is Sunday morning now, and we basically hung out near the pond before going on the hike. This is the start of the hike when the spirits are good. You're doing great. Thank you. The grass on the middle part of the trail was taller than I remember, but the view also seems to be better than I remember as well. We're currently looking west towards the High Peaks region. I wish I was able to tell what all the mountains are, but I can't. I don't remember it being this nice. Yeah, the view's better than Staying I remember. Miles, sir. Because we had such great service while we were up here, I actually went onto the App Store and downloaded the app Peak Finder, and I did have to pay $5 for it, but I think it's worth it, and I'm going to be using this a lot now to figure out what all the mountains are around me. That was basically it after we cleaned up we just headed home and as you saw we had a nice relaxing evening and i'm really glad we went it was nice going on the atv ride and including coco it's always hard deciding do we want to go camping and do a hard hike or do we want to go like more relaxing camping and include coco since she can't really go on long hikes anymore but anyways i hope you enjoyed our little weekend trip and as always thanks for watching